What you doing over there, Revelyn? Just straight chilling? Straight chilling? Daisy no working. What are you doing? Hello there people of the internet. So I am getting ready because I am doing a Google Live hangout on Heidi while they were napping's channel today with her and Anna from um, Randy and Anna or according to Anna here on YouTube which you guys have heard us talk about them lots and lots. They're really good friends of ours. So we are going to be doing a live hangout, the three of us on Heidi's channel. And so I'm getting this set up. I'm thinking about having a laptop here so I can put Revel in here and then maybe they can see her the whole time during the chat and then I can tend to her if she needs to be. But while cleaning off this table, which is a mess, I discovered some, um, her birth announcements that somehow didn't get out. Like they're addressed sitting there, but somehow they got missed when we put um, stamps on them. So I'm closing those ones all up now. We're gonna add stamps and get those out. So yeah. So I wasn't sure if we showed you guys her announcement, but this is what it looked like. And my sister designed it. So it just says, introducing Revelyn Hope Fletter. And it has her statistics and her parents' names, obviously. <laughs> and that was her picture that was taken in the hospital by my sister-in-law. And then in the back, I kind of suck at getting out thank you letters and the amount of time it just takes to write them and everything. And it was near the end of my pregnancy. I was not getting it done. Um, and I knew as soon as she got here, I definitely wouldn't. So we decided to do like a pre-written thank you just so we at least said thank you for everyone that wrote a gift. Because we had almost 100 thank you notes that I needed to write. Um, and I think that was actually more thank you notes than we had for our wedding. So, <laughs> and those got out late too. So I just decided to do a pre-written thank you so we could say thank you to everyone and make sure that they at least got a thank you note and that no, it's not handwritten and stuff like that. But hopefully they understand that we had a new baby and I just didn't have time. Um, so we did like a pre-written thank you. And it says, thank you so much for your gift to welcome Revel and Hope in the world. We appreciate your kindness and generosity for our little girl. And then love Ryan and Ariana Flutter. So that was it. And then we use these. Fun fact, these are the same exact envelopes that we ordered for our wedding invites. I'll take turns. All right, hey guys, so we are actually, we just got off a live hangout with Heidi and um, Jenny was on and we're with Anna. So here you go. They're gonna say hi. Hi, everybody. <laughs> So we've just been hanging out with them for a little while after, but I wanted to make sure I showed you guys them. Um, so yeah, just say goodbye, guys. Oh, bye. <laughs> bye. I'll link their channels down below so you guys can go subscribe to them. So since Levi's supposed to be drinking or eating wet foods, not dry foods, um, and the canned wet food that we get is like really expensive, so I don't want to use all that for five days because he's got to have wet food for five days so I'm just taking his normal food and grinding it up I did it last night but last night I started with I just put the food in like the solid food in water to like just make it moist but it was taking forever and he was really hungry so he had to eat and so I was then grinding it up after it was already wet and it was such a pain in the butt. And so I got smart. And so now I'm grinding it just dry and I'm just putting it in the mason jars after I grind it up. So then really all I need to do to feed him is dump that in his bowl, add some water to it, mix it up, and he's good to go. Right, buddy? Yeah, look at that tail go. I thought it's pretty smart. So I'm just making a few jars of food for him. Make it super easy. And yeah. And so that way it's a lot cheaper than the canned food. Right buddy? Cause you're expensive. You are super expensive. Yeah. Somebody has been very cranky tonight. And the naked baby has seemed to fix the issue. You just want to be naked? It's too cold for you to be totally naked though. So. We we'll use this blankie right here. You love your blankie, huh? Say hello, bit. You love my blankie. Can you smile for them? 
Can you smile? Can you smile for him? Huh? Can you smile? Hi. Can you smile? There you go. What if you see yourself? Who's that pretty baby? Is that you? Yeah. Are you trying to hide? Yeah. We really need to go grocery shopping because there's not much food in the house. Other than the chicken, frozen chicken that we don't want to cook. <laughs> or we're too lazy to cook, I don't know. Either one. So, Ariana was really hungry. And I said, just tell me what you want, I'll, I'll get whatever you want. And she said she wanted Tony Steamers, which is a place somewhat near to us. Um, it's kind of just like a mom and pop hot dog place. And so, I haven't had it in a long time, but got the hot dog wrapped with the fries. Like, that's something they've always done. It's just, it's a whole meal wrapped in one. And it's really good, so I'm excited to eat it. So, that's what I'm going to do. Somebody's getting her first grape water in... Weeks. No, like three weeks. She's been like major cranky though. Yeah, like she I'm won't tough. just sleep. She just keeps crying and crying and crying. But you're tired. You're and tired you. and tired. Yeah. Yeah. Is that good tasting? <laughs> Staring at us. What is this thing? Is it already helping? You haven't even gotten half the dose yet. It's tasty, huh? It tastes good. It yeah. It tastes good. Oh, you're so cute. I've got some news, guys. <laughs> And Ariana's not very happy about it. <laughs> Next week, I have to go out of town for work. Which is the first time I've ever had to go out of town for work. Like, ever. So, it's, it'll be interesting. But I'm going to Florida. I'm, I'll be leaving Monday, coming back on Wednesday. So, I'm probably going to take the, the older camera with and get some footage while I'm there. Who knows how much it'll be. It'll probably just be majority of the time in the hotel room. She's calmed down a little bit. Sweetheart, are you okay? She's real congested. Yeah, she and has no been for a while. Do yeah. So, do any of you mothers or fathers know what to do when your child is congested. Well, I wouldn't necessarily say congested, but it's very much so Flemmy like back. phlegm. A lot of phlegm. Like we can hear her when she's like breathing and stuff sometimes. We're not sure why she has so much. Oh, oh I remember what I was saying. Ariana and I, since we have been married, haven't been apart. Like, overnight. So, it'll be a new experience. And actually, in the almost five years that we've been together, there's been like a week total that we haven't seen each other. Across the five years, there's been maybe a total of seven days during which we haven't seen each other. So, it is going to be interesting. We'll make it through. It'll be okay. I'll be fine. It's just like it's the first time in years that I hadn't seen you. Yeah. And it's the first time I'm ever gonna be home with her by I myself know. for a couple days. I know. Don't forget my parents. If will, she's not will like this, happy. I'll be okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she's like this, I might lose it. <laughs> Kudos to you single mothers and single fathers that it's just you and only you. I don't know how you do it. <laughs> I think it'll be neat because it's like a totally new experience <laughs> traveling for work 
Basically, I have to go down there for a meeting with all of the, pretty much, executive management of the company. It'll be neat. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. Plus, the weather's gonna be nice down there. Whatever. <laughs> You're a cutie patootie. So we've got a, a schmeebers. Time for nap time, or night night time. Night night time. So we're just laying in bed and we are watching um, Chicago Fire and she just woke up. But she's not unhappy so she's just, she's just chilling. She actually was just licking the blanket. Weren't ya? You were, you were blanket licking. Were you blanket licking? Were you blanket licking? Yeah. Did that grape water help you? I'm so sorry, I don't know what's bothering you. Did I accidentally have milk? You're so cute. You know you're supposed to be sleeping though? Yeah, you do know that. You're supposed to be sleeping. You are supposed to be sleeping. Yeah, you're lucky you're cute. Yes, you are. So I have all the puppies. Daisy's here. Oh, Levi cool. is taking up the whole bottom half. See, it's just like a Daisy's here, Levi's here. Cause you're big, buddy. You're so big. You're so big. And I was just about to get her out of there. Do you want to stretch for them? You want to come out? Yeah, you should be sleeping. You know that it's almost 12:30 a.m. Do you know that? You have not had any sleeping issues till these past couple days. Today I don't want to sleep over four hours. No, I don't want to sleep over four hours. Should we unswaddle ya? Let's get them stretches on on camera. Where's your stretch? No stretches? Where is it? No. Just a hand and mouth. Hey Babylon. Look at you. <gasps> Who is that? Who is that? She's like, what in the world? Who that is? is? Who, Who that, that is? is? Who that is? <gasps> Who that is? <laughs> Who, Who that, that is? is? Who that is? Me thinks it's time to end the videos. Uh -huh. Well, the video, because it's only one video, not multiple videos. Thanks, Mimi. And yesterday's question of the day, what do you not leave the house without? Well, let me tell you. My phone, my wallet, my keys, and my knife. Those are the four things I never leave the house without. Like pretty much every, every time when I leave, when I'm walking out, like, like I'm out of the apartment and I'm walking through the hallway out to the outside I always do like a a, a check pat? yep he does the pocket pat all the time yep <laughs> knife phone wall keys good I'm good to go otherwise you never know you might be missing something and you don't realize it what do you never leave the house without my phone something else my daughter <laughs> Uh huh. I always have her. Used to, I never left the house without Schmeebers. But now I do. But you've got this other little one. I do. Today's question of the day is, and it's not from anyone, just so you know. <laughs> it is from someone, whoever made this list. Yeah, whoever made this list. It is, how many languages can you speak? And I'm adding in. What languages are they? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Good time. It's, she's gonna get upset soon. Okay, so. that's it guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit a thumbs up <laughs> if you did. <laughs> As always, we'll see your wonderful faces tomorrow. Bye guys. Bye. <laughs>
you okay? Yeah. Come on. What happened? Give me two. There we go.